Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FrameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. First of all thank you so much everyone for 100k subscribers. It has been possible only for your love and support. I really appreciate your love and support. Thank you so much once again. Okay so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by ProductionCreate.com. Here you will find awesome VFX, motion graphics elements, sound effects, After Effects tutorials and much more. Here you can create a free account. In free account, you can download 5 assets per day and you can create a pro account to access the full library. No download limits in just $49 per year. In this tutorial, I am using some elements from this website. Click the link in the description box below for more information. Also you can download this full project file and you can customize it yourself. Download link in the description box below. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes please hit the like button. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition and let's call it cinematic title. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 seconds for one scene. Ok let's create our text so right click here then new and click on text. In this tutorial I am using Sui Generis font you can download this font from link in the description box below. Ok now type your text here. Perfect. Ok now make this little bit bigger. Something like this. And align it to the center. perfect ok now import our project files select them all and drag it into your project window ok now select the world texture image and place this above the text layer then press S to open scale and make it smaller like this Then select the text layer and change the track mat to luma mat. If you don't see the track mat button simply click here. Then change the track mat to luma mat. Perfect. Ok now select the text layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for bevel alpha. Then double click on this effect. Then go to effect control panel and change the edge thickness to 2.90 angle set it 0 and intensity set it 0 0.50 perfect now select these two layers and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to text then click on ok also make this layer 3d Ok now go to project window and select matte smoke footage and place this above the text layer. Make this layer 3D. Then select the text layer and change the track mat to luma mat. Something like this. Perfect. Now we can see a nice cinematic effect. Looks good to me. Again go to project window and select the optical flare footage and place this above the match smoke layer. and change the layer mode to add 
परफेक्ट ऑल्सो मेक दिस लेयर थ्री डी अगेन गो टू प्रोजेक्ट विंडो एंड सिलेक्ट द फर्स्ट पार्क फुटेज एंड प्लेस दिस एब द ऑप्टिकल फ्लेयर ओके इन आउ प्रेस एस टू ओपन स्केल एंड मेक इट लिटिल बिट बिगर and move it center of this text and then select the layer and move it forward few seconds okay now change the layer mode to add okay now select this layer and then go to effect color correction and then choose curves then change the rgb curves to something like this to make this footage more brighter perfect adjust the position little bit Okay now go to project window and then select the particles layer and then place this into your timeline and then change the layer mode to add perfect Okay now we are create a null object so right click new and click on null object and make this null layer 3D. Then select the last three layers and bend it to null one, like this. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then select the null layer and press P to open position. Then set a keyframe on position. Then go to around six second, and then increase the Z amount a little bit. for zoom out effect perfect okay now we are create adjustment layer so right click new and click on adjustment layer then select the layer and then go to effect noise and gain and then click on noise then noise amount set it 6 again go to effect color correction and then choose curves and then change the rgb curves to something like this perfect okay now go to project window and then select our background layer and place this into your timeline like this then select the layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for color balance then select the effect and apply onto this uh, background layer then go to effect control panel and change the shadow blue balance to 40 perfect looks good to me okay now create a new black solid layer so right click new and click on solid make it black and rename it to mask then click on okay okay now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this mask path and hold down alt control and drag then change the mask mode to subtract perfect our animation is ready press zero to ramp view this that's how i made the whole project 
you can download this full project file from link in the description box below and you can customize it yourself thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a nice day